Hey there you guys, it's Irene from IreneLine.com and I am sitting up on my deck. It is a Saturday night and I'm just waiting for dinner to uh, be ready. Um, and I got a question from a subscriber who watched my recent video on the founder of Somatic Experiencing, Peter Levine. Um, if you haven't seen that uh, vlog video yet, maybe just uh, head over. I'll post it right below this one so that you can watch that first. But, but if you have watched it, one of the questions was, um, I talk about a tiger and in the, in the video, I talk about Peter talking to his client and in a way, um, yelling at her in a, in a good way, in a therapeutic way, Nancy run, run like you're running away from a tiger. Now, um, my reader asked, what does waking the tiger actually mean? And it's a great question. So thank you for asking that question. Um, basically waking the tiger means waking up our fight flight, our fight flee survival energy impulses and in the case of this other video I'm talking about, he was working with a woman who had had a tonsillectomy when she was five years old, and she was pinned down um, with and then ethered to be put under. Now, when a little person or even a big person is frightened and they're pinned down and they can't break three, free and they aren't aware of what's going on, First of all, A, it's incredibly frightening. Um, you're under threat. Your, your nervous system, your biology senses threat. So it wants to fight, it wants to flee, it wants to get away, but it couldn't because you, there was an overpowering, um, in that case, uh, doctors and nurses pinning her down. So she then, of course, went under the anesthetic because she had ether, which puts a person under what happens is that when that person comes out in our world of medicine we tend to not allow them to discharge and shake and release the stress we call it deactivate the stress response as you'll if you watch the other one in her life later on in her 20s she ended up getting all sorts of medical conditions medical signs symptoms and when he worked with her as an adult he had an image of a tiger running and he in sort of a flash of insight instigated her stored and frozen I'll say that again he instigated her stored and frozen fight flee energy by giving her the image of a tiger now of course if we were to encounter a tiger or a big bear one of our impulses would be to run or to fight and that's what he wanted to instill in her was that knowing that she has the power and the strength to actually flee and run and get away from that threat, that danger. Because you see most of our stressors that lead us into some kind of post-traumatic um, dis stress syndrome disorder, however you want to call it, and it's a spectrum, um, Come, it all comes down to feeling helpless, feeling under threat, and not being able to defend ourselves, not being able to protect ourselves, and not being able to find safety. So that is, in a sense, what Waking the Tiger means. And Waking the Tiger was the title of Peter Levine's first book. And it is, again, about this capacity that all of us have, me, you, every single human being and mammal, we, and reptile, we have got the capacity, we have a fight flight nervous system. It's called the sympathetic nervous system. It's very important. It's just as important as the other nervous systems we have that make us mammalian and human. And it often gets stifled. So that's it. It's how can we wake that tiger? It isn't about hurting anyone. It isn't about being a tiger and attacking, but it's about getting that survival energy going again so that the body processes aren't stuck in a freeze response. Now, obviously this is a very long conversation and there's more detail in here. I would really encourage you, if you haven't already, to sign up for my, my ebook, How to De-Stress in Seven Steps. You can get it on my website, which is irenelion.com. So if you're watching this and you're not at irenelion.com, 
definitely head over there, grab the guide, grab, it's a, it's a training, there's a video, there's a blueprint, there is an ebook style um, document. Get this information, start to learn about your survival energies because we all have them and much of the, the illness and sickness and depression and anxiety and disembodiment in our world is a result of these survival energies not being honored. So I hope that answers your question. Um, I hope it clarifies some things for other people as well. Basically, we want to wake up the tiger in all of us in a way that's safe and gets our energy and our power and our strength and our life force going again. So take very good care, many, many blessings, and um, my dinner's probably ready by now. So uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao.